This is one of the most famous Stav churches in all of Norway, called the Borgen Stav Church. Uh, King Olaf the Saint came through the area, Christianized Norway, and he commissioned the building of these Stav churches. What is unique about them is that they are built from vertical t vertical trees, and so so they get the name Stav or Stave, and then they, they sink these these trees in the ground as for the corners and you can see them in, in, right there and then they uh, and then they were built and they still have some pagan overtures to them see they had uh, they worshiped the hog beforehand see pagan so you still see some of the pagan um curlicues or things coming out along with the cross you see the pagan stuff there so they still hadn't quite gotten rid of their pagan religion yet uh, my grandfather was baptized in this church. The farm in which he grew up on was just down the road here, about, oh, about a mile and a half, and uh, on our heim. And uh, when he was three years old, they left this area. This is a very famous place. Are any of you the relatives here? Yep, I think so. Can we look? This is the most original the church in Norway, built in 1150. Because um, the, those who weren't allowed to go into the church, they could stand outside the Norway. Uh, those, uh, I don't know what you call it, the lepers or something? Lepers. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they had to stand there was outside. There many lepers here. Yes, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was yeah. somewhere. Any others that couldn't go in? Mm, perhaps those who wasn't the uh, doctor. Who were bad guys. Doctor. So they had, you can see, they had this pump, that's that's in pump inside. You can see that afterwards. Mm -hmm. And uh, it used to stand outside the church because those who went that side, that side had to my grandfather was baptized in this church. Okay. Do you have the records here? Um, I'm not sure, but maybe you can ask them in the what they Also, also his brother, he had uh, two brothers and one sister. Okay.
Walking along in the tractor on his way over to the farm. He's going to check out the milking. This is a beautiful cabin. It's for fishermen and their families that come here to go salmon fishing. It's uh, been built by Karen and her husband and son. And uh, they had hired a carpenter. And they just finished. We'll be the first people to stay here to try it out. It's absolutely beautiful. And the area around here is lovely too. Over on this side, the mountain with a river running by. Can't see it, it's behind there. Well, here we are in the milking room. In the milk room. Where they're getting ready to milk. This is the big tank. No. Oh, they, do you know, do you use your separator? Mm -hmm. Do you use this? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, oh, very often. And this, this is, is where they set up. Yes. And this place is the door. Here's what she was talking about, this old separator that they use. Do you want to milk this? And we'll just walk on in. Here's the pipeline going up. We'll just walk on in and see what they're doing. Yeah, this all looks familiar to me. Mm -hmm. These back memories. Sure smells like the farm. The back part is all the parlor. No, but uh, if you uh, get them together, you know, they can smell the, the silage. I can the 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 Yes, Hobble. She means hobble. Can you see? No, she holds everything. She holds the whole thing. She holds the Yes. It's dry manure. Yes. So nice. so nice. so nice. dry manure. Yes. Yes. Put in a special yes. spot. Yes. I did, I did that. These fly catchers. They're all along up here above. They're big papers. And they're filled with the flies. They must take more than I know. You can get salt blocks by each cat. This one lined up. This where you got them? Mm -hmm. Don't have a, a black and white. It looks like Colton, but they also remind me of Jersey. 